This is All India Radio Shalong, the Northeast News Bulletin read by Rahul Chatterjee. The Sikkim government has decided to allow the opening of restaurants and fast food shops with certain restrictions as part of relaxation measures to revive the state's economy. All shops, including restaurants and fast food shops, will remain open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang said in a Facebook post after presiding over a high-level meeting on the COVID-19 pandemic. The state government has also given go-ahead to the inter-district movement of taxis and private vehicles by following the odd-even rule, he said. The state government offices too will open with 30% workforce, Tamang said. The first COVID-19 testing lab in Nagaland has received the approval of the Indian Council of Medical Research. Samples from the state are at present being sent to Assam and Manipur for testing. However, Nagaland has not reported any COVID-19 case till date. Approval received for BSL-3 from ICMR was based on validation of documentation and quality control test run, State Health Secretary Kesyon Yu Hyom said. The state government started the process for setting up the lab at Naga Hospital Authority, Kohima, on April 17, while all protocols were completed on May 12 and documents for validation were sent to ICMR the same day, officials said. Testing of samples for COVID-19 can begin as soon as reagents are supplied by a ICMR, Yom said. With Assam reporting 22 fresh COVID cases since Wednesday, Chief Minister Sarbanan Sonwal has urged people not to panic and emphasized that only staying united in the fight of fight against the pandemic can bring victory. He appealed to people not to ostracize infected persons. Assam has 86 COVID-19 positive cases with 7 new COVID-19 cases. Talking to reporters, the Chief Minister said people would carry would need to carry on observing the COVID-19 protocols like wearing of masks, maintaining social distancing and frequent hand washing till there is no vaccine discovered for the deadly virus. One more Border Security First personnel has tested positive for novel coronavirus in Tripura's Dhalai district, taking the total number of COVID-19 cases to the 156 in the state, Chief Minister Biplav Kumar Deb said. They've also informed that 652 civilians and BSF officials have undergone COVID-19 test. Among them, one BSF official of the 86th Battalion, Ambasa, was found COVID-19 positive. Earlier, 151 BSF personnel and their family members from the two battalions based in Ambasa in Thalai district had tested positive for COVID-19. Despite various efforts of state government to contain the spread of COVID-19, Manipur has reported one positive case of COVID-19 yesterday. A 33-year-old resident of Imphal East District who had reached Imphal from Mumbai in a hired vehicle on Wednesday has tested positive for the virus. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biran Singh has instructed the health authority to take up whatever measure available to treat the patient and contain the spread of the virus to others in the state. In Meghalaya, leaders of the ruling Meghalaya Democratic Alliance government and opposition congress met for the second time yesterday to discuss the prevailing situation due to COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking to reporters after the meeting, Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma said that positive suggestions have come up during the meeting and every suggestion is important to improve. He said, the most important message is that all the leaders, irrespective of their party affiliation, are working together in this fight against COVID. And Meghalaya Chief Minister has lauded the financial packages announced by the union government, stating that such initiative will work as a stimulus and push up the overall economic activity. In an interaction with media persons last evening, he said that it is a very positive step as supporting the micro, small and medium enterprises will boost the overall economy. He said that MSMEs are the backbone of any economy as this is the sector that promotes maximum number of people. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.